Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to make roasted salmon with quinoa and roasted vegetables on the side. We're going to start off by peeling some garlics and we're going to crush those garlics or just chop them finely. And this is my favorite garlic tool so I could leave the link for it in the description. Then we're going to go ahead and add half a lime. The next thing we're going to add is olive oil or you can also use some avocado oil. Next we're going to squeeze in some Dijon mustard if you like that taste. Then we're going to add some Old Bay seasoning, some lemon pepper, and if you put lemon pepper you don't have to put uh, ground pepper. And then we're going to add some Cajun seasoning, some cumin powder, and lastly we're going to add some salt. And if you don't have any of these uh, seasonings, then it's still going to be really good. And here we add some garlic powder as well. Now for our veggies, we're going to wash and cut some broccoli as well as some zucchini. And you could use whatever vegetables that you and your family like. So now to put all of our ingredients together, we're going to get a tray and we're going to line it with either aluminum foil, some parchment paper, or the non-stick silicone mats. And we're going to put our piece of salmon. I have here a whole piece that would feed our family of four or five. Now I'm going to start cutting up the salmon so that it can cook uh, all throughout and the seasoning could reach all the way inside. Next step is I'm going to go ahead and put my seasoning all throughout the salmon, making sure to fill in all of those uh, cuts. And then I'm going to put my vegetables as well as season them with some olive oil, salt and pepper. Once I have everything on my tray, I will put it in the oven for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes on 375 degrees. And now I'm going to make some quinoa for the side. I'm just going to fill my pot with some water. I'm going to add the quinoa and then I will season with salt, pepper, as well as some cinnamon. Then I will mix it and put my lid on and put it on the stove for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is how it will look when it's all done. Hope you try it and enjoy.